good afternoon everyone so uh, today we will have two uh, two brief lectures one of them on uh, even by, by me on HTML and the, the second one we will be intro intro introduction to hardware given by Avi uh, so uh, let's start so uh, Machine learning, uh, machine learning algorithms uh, ac actually uh, they are uh, invented. Uh, they they uh, they they propose is uh, give, is uh, classification do, doing cl 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 classification or reg regression. But how to uh, how to build the best uh, machine learning classifier? It's actually uh, the question that we are uh, we want to uh, f to solve it by design a network that could do it by itself. Uh, so a uh, machine learning uh, life cycle is uh, by uh, developing uh, that you, we have offline training data and we have we collect the, the data uh, doing our training. Uh, fi uh, fine tuning by uh, uh, several methods, and uh, then doing inference. So how to do how to f uh, how to find uh, best uh, machine learning uh, algorithm is very hard question. So only uh, only uh, tweaking hyperparameters it's not uh, will not achieve the desired uh, target, so we want to learn to do it. To learn uh, uh, machine learning uh, task-driven uh, uh, arch architecture. Great, so, uh, great, so, Andrew Karp Karpati, one of the famous uh, uh, machine learning uh, data scientists, uh, uh, he actually plotted the the, the, the di di difference of uh, uh, PhD student life cycle uh, of the PhD and the, the the GPUs. Okay, so a PhD student, uh, a PhD is working on uh, most of the uh, m most of the, the life cycle is by uh, developing models and algorithms. And uh, the the only f f uh, f a small part in, on data sets and we, uh, the the GPUs actually the Tesla is uh, we the most of them is going on data sets and the the, uh, the small uh, small part in in on a, a your models and algorithms. So actually uh, the, the the big problems with uh, uh, AutoML and uh, you will uh, figure out it. Uh, in a f in a few slides, that it could take a lot of time, okay? Uh, or you are Google, <laughs> then it's not a problem. So uh, uh, you, actually, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a trade off of your performance and the time that you need uh, to uh, uh, achieve it. Okay, so model the, uh, uh, the model development by itself, you ac we actually want to uh, find the model, f find the, f the, fun the parameter theta that actually uh, solve, solve for, for, for us the, the uh, problem of a function uh, that fx is actually uh, uh, fitting to y. Yeah, so uh, it's, Basically, problem of uh, of uh, um, learning algorithm. So uh, we want to uh, fit the model parameters theta during the, the training for getting the best performance. Yeah. So uh, we have a lot of uh, al algorithms that work this way. Classical models for that working on uh, the shallow models. We have neural networks. Uh, and of course, the basic of them, uh, the basis that they are designed of is it's, uh, using regularization, batch size, statistical parameters, hidden units, activations, layer designs, and all, and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So as, as, as we actually can see, we have a lot of uh, uh, parameters that can be tuned, okay? 
And the problem is that a lot the, the, when we, we have our cell space or the number of parameters are so uh, huge that how to do it efficiently, okay? So one of the <laughs> one of the ways to do like grid search or random search, yeah. So we are taking all the all we have defined some uh, 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 huge uh, exploration space, and then we are uh, given to our computers uh, to our GPUs to work, making work cross val val validation of all the parameters, and then we we find the best settings and re report it in the paper. Uh, by uh, giving some intuition, and then we done. It <laughs> actually it works uh, when you have a, a unlimited amount of GPUs, but when when you you have not when you are mortal and you can you have not these uh, options. So what you you can do? So you can you can design some algorithms uh, based on your uh, uh, base, and we we will we will see if if your algorithms for now. Uh, 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 to do it, uh, we will uh, uh, limit our exploration search to some uh, uh, to some number for 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 actually do it is feasible, and we will have some uh, rules how to direct our algorithms to find the best architecture, because we actually uh, uh, when we are using to we are, when we want to optimize uh, our uh, algorithm to. Ha to uh, classify, uh, to make good classification, we know we know our object function, our loss function. Yeah. So this is this is you. We need to define the loss function on our uh, auto ML algorithms that will actually will be uh, uh, over, that will find the best architecture that will optimize the best your algorithm your for your for 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 your task. Okay. Great. So. Actually, I'm starting from uh, architectural neural NAS. Uh, the old, old uh, is, 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 uh, on uh, neural ar ar architectural search using reinforcement learning. This work by Baker is actually one of the first works that hand that uh, showed uh, if how to find best architecture. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, what actually what we uh, what the context. So neural architecture is a powerful and increasingly popular, and we have different neural networks exist without a clear winner. Okay, so the base this is actually the basic architecture. So we we have a layer, we we have convolutional layers, we have poolings, we have fully connected. Okay, so we have three kinds of uh, of type of uh, uh, types of building layer of building a, a layer. Okay, so uh, what we want to do is we, we want to Find the best, uh, the best uh, uh, size uh, and the the number of these layers, uh, and the size, the kinds of the layer, and the number of the layers to uh, achieve uh, best performance. Yeah, uh, for a specific task. Okay. Great. So. Uh, the problems that the conversion neural network designed today, the large as started before, we have large search space. Okay, and uh, uh, actually the most novel architecture are hand designed. Okay, okay. So uh, hand what what I mean by hand designed? What what do you think? What I mean by hand designed? Yeah, yes, yes. You just, uh, you know, you you just uh, make some assumption and uh, 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 tweak, and uh, actually you ge generate for generate uh, generate uh, uh, p parameters, and then you actually report the results. Okay, and if it's bet if and if it's best better than the, the previous work, you are state that you achieved state-of-the-art result, and then you publish paper. So uh, this is, <laughs> as I call it, it's a, a, a bad, uh, bad research, OK? But it, it's, it's actually it's a bad research, because there's not really intuition behind your, 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 behind your uh, uh, settings, behind your, uh, behind, uh, uh, your settings. OK, so uh, and uh, so as I started, so uh, the theoretical lens, instance, and experiments intuitions of experts are uh, 
not exist, okay? And they are slow and very expensive, yes? So you know that we, if, if we, we, we actually take the uh, exist layer, uh, exist convolutional layers, okay, so if we, if, I, if we add more and more layers, it actually will be, the, your model will be slower and slower, yeah? So we want to do some smart consideration for really find better, better architecture, uh, and most of, uh, and, and, and actually you have uh, our, uh, an other term is actually your complexity, okay? So most of the work want to show, uh, uh, try to, to show that they achieve the same accuracy by the same complexity. Because it's not really, uh, because if you actually show that you achieve better results by X, X percentage, by, but your complexity of your neural network is actually uh, getting higher. Uh, so it's actually your, your, you, 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 it's not, it's, it's, it's not fair comparison. Okay? No, 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 no. If you want, if you, if you want to, if you want to uh, design an AutoML algorithm for, a, and you want to show that you can achieve state-of-the-art results, you should take the handcraft algorithm, which with the same, with some complexity, then given constraint on the complexity, and get better results. The other uh, option is to actually uh, design a, uh, using HTML design algorithm that ca that have more complexity, but giving the sort of result, it's actually you c it's not comparable. Okay. Yeah. Is it, is it clear? Great. So. So a little bit about back, uh, reinforcement learning. Some. Uh, uh, so first, we will. I will show you. Uh, the, uh, how to do it with reinforcement learning, uh, and then we will uh, uh, talk about state-of-the-art AutoML algorithms. So reinforcement learning, uh, uh, a little bit to recap on the terms, on the on the symbols. So we define state space as uh, action space U, uh, reward, uh, our reward distribution R. So we want the, that rewards may be delayed or sparse requires a sequence of uh, correction, uh, correct ac actions. Our goal is actually find an optimal policy that maximize, our policy ma maximize uh, the reward, uh, the maximum our expected reward. Actually, our reward is find better accuracy, yeah? Uh, and and if it's based on MDP uh, equations, okay? So our, actually, we, we want that our agent, uh, instead of uh, solving some game like Atari, we want that he will find the best uh, building blocks for build our neural architecture for getting best reward, uh, better ac accuracy on the final, on the evaluation result. Questions about how reinforcement used for uh, AutoML problems? MDP, Markov chain decision process, okay? So it's, uh, Alex, I think, th talk about it, but it's actually the basic, uh, the basic equations uh, of uh, reinforcement learning. How, how to uh, find your, it's, it's actually how to find your policy, okay? How to, how to, how to, uh, how to find your policy for, uh, for solve your, uh, for, for solve your task, okay? Okay. Great. So, in reinforcement learning, we have two options. We, we, we have uh, policy-driven algorithms, and we, we have value function algorithms. So, the value function is actually the basic ones, okay, because, and the most uh, uh, famous, I don't know, uh, common, is Q-learning. So, it's, uh, the Q-learning is value function algorithm that you optimize your, you, you have some, you optimize your value, by uh, finding policies that op that uh, 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 op that get that actually give you uh, best uh, q, q b best values, okay, and uh, it's actually uh, model free or 
and or of policy algorithms because the se the second one is a policy a policy gradient algorithms that they are trying to to optimize policy. Okay, so the first one is a value of a value function optimization. So uh, we will use this work and actually we'll uh, use Q learning Q learning for uh, as a reference model of reinforcement or AutoML reinforcement learning. So our agent will explore the state and the action space and will learn the environment and retain the, that knowledge via Q values, okay? So we have some Q, some values, uh, our previous results, okay? Our, our previous results of our model, and then we update, uh, we update our, our uh, a Q, Q values according to our new results by uh, f by by uh, building other blocks, okay? By choosing other blocks of our of of of, of our network. Great. So a uh, little bit about exploration and exploit exploitation. So the exploration is when an agent tries new action in the states uh, to learn about its environment, okay? And exploitation is when an, an, uh, when an agent utilizes actually what it knows to take the best paths possible. Okay, so we have uh, it's actually we in the reinforcement learning algorithm we do both, the both. So too much exp exploration, slow convergence. Why? Why if you have too much? Exp yeah, because it's very difficult to find the best path when you have too much options to to uh, choose, okay? Great. Uh, and too much exploitation, it's converged to local minima, to local optima. So, so when, I, when I'm talking about local optima, it's actually not a, not, a, not, a good, not a good local optima, okay? So we have a good local optima that they are uh, actually uh, trying to, 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 uh, to, to be, uh, uh, to, uh, to be the uh, 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 global optimal or near the global optimal, and this is not 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 good local optimal. Uh, okay, so e-learning uh, when we try uh, when we uh, choosing the parameters e means it we actually uh, make more exploration. Okay, so uh, experience replay. So we generate uh, so we uh, generating the, our, our data from reinforcement learning can be costly. And many many reinforcement algorithms require a lot of data because you actually need a lot of uh, samples to uh, to to understand what the, to find the, the, the good policy. Okay, so we store each state action reward new state in database. So this actually is Q, Q learning basics. We have a huge table, huge table. In each table, we have. So the, uh, our rows are uh, actually what the building blocks we used and the result. Okay, we need this. Uh, we need this information for uh, actually for when we have new uh, new uh, when we generate new options or building blocks. We want to find uh, uh, we want to find if it's better or none of the of the previous uh, of the previous re results. So we need to store all the options that we had before for, for actually understanding if we improve our policy or not. Okay. And uh, then can we replay past experience by random sampling from the database? Great. So refer, we, as, as, as we said, we, uh, we make some reformulation of our problem. The key innovation is, is to formulate the network architecture search as a reinforcement learning uh, uh, task. Our state space is all the possible newer network architectures. So all kinds of blocks, okay? It's our uh, sta state space. And our action space is uh, what we want to, what we can choose. So uh, actually, basically, we find the three common uh, neural network layers. It's convolution, fully connected, pooling, etc. Okay, so uh, it can be a, a convolution. It, it can be convolution or skip connection. Okay, or skip connect uh, or or vanilla convolution or or skip connection or f uh, fully connected pooling, and uh, we, you can define or more. But uh, be 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 aware that when you uh, when you uh, when this number is going to be more and more, your complexity 
is uh, your exp exploration is going uh, to be uh, very very large so it's actually uh, can uh, decrease your uh, it's it's it can decrease your uh, uh, option to to achieve good results because of uh, yeah. uh, can the agent uh, modify the statements can the agent uh, modify the state space for example if it finds uh, a new architecture which we didn't think about uh, okay what do you mean but you don't think about uh, uh, actually uh, you you are you, uh, yes of course the architectures you didn't think that you, you you are finding architecture that you didn't think bef uh, about b b before yeah so if you know the architecture you 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 not really need the uh, doing uh, out on, on this no i'm talking about uh, something different than the convolutional layer no 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 uh, different from convolutional layer again you can you can define it, but it's not. But you 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 are you have some assumption on on the on your uh, basic blocks. So uh, again, yeah. Just, just one comment. They are attempt to do machine learning on machine learning. So instead of you thinking about all the options, so you may have a machine learning that will look what are the most likely options that you want to consider, but you can now take it into n layers of abstraction. Yeah, you ha you ha you ha you have some basic abstractions, okay? So convolutional layer. So using convolution is based on the basic uh, of machine learning uh, assumption on how how actually to uh, derive your information. Yes, by some uh, feature extraction and etc. Yeah. So we are we are not we are not we are finding we are trying to find a new architecture in assumption that we know what uh, we know how it works. Okay, okay. Again. Uh, you can we can limit what we what we are doing that we are playing with the depths uh, with the hey with, with the depths of your feature maps or uh, it's it actually what you're uh, it's it's what you are we can we can play with this okay but we are not playing of the basics uh, of of, uh, uh, of the basic layers because p playing with them it's uh, it's increasing your complexity and you will never <laughs> you will never find something, okay? Your algorithm will be, your gradients will be so small, so you, you can you, you you cannot find your opt, your any any any, any working ar architecture. Okay, great. So again, so we have state space, action space. Uh, our agent is sample neural topology. Then we are. Uh, uh, evaluating this topology and updating our Q's values according to the results. And we do it iteratively until we find some architecture that, uh, require, that, that, that better than, uh, that, that actually we desire to, to find, that optimize our uh, accu uh, accuracy on, uh, on our model. Okay? Questions? Okay, 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 yeah. So the question, the question was, what, uh, what are the hyperparameters that we are, we, that we are tweaking, with, that we are allowing to, that are, uh, uh, that, that are in our exploration space? Again, uh, we can, we can, we can, we can uh, uh, add uh, hyperparameters that we, we want, but. Uh, uh, in most works, they uh, limit the number of the parameters for some for for uh, very for for very few. Okay, so again, if we uh, the works that are that if we have some layer, so we can so the the, the number of the uh, uh, feature maps of each layer is actually uh, limited for four sizes. Okay, so you have four options. Okay, because uh, or five options at, at, at all. So you can, you only you uh, and and you are playing with the the conv the uh, kind of of layer and the size of layer, but you have limited number of size of layers. Okay, K kernels, yeah. Kernel, you you are talking about filters filter size. Uh, look. There is assumptions that kernel three by three is optimal uh, kernel. Yeah, so uh, 
uh, people not really do it because again we prefer to playing with the number of the layer with the uh, with the layer bottlenecks and actually bottlenecks I took, uh, I'm, I'm talking about the layer uh, the layer size and the and the layer uh, type okay but not for not uh, with uh, uh, all options that we have Okay, so for example, ma maximum we, uh, the, the work that do, did uh, maximum uh, exploration search, they, they, they had seven options of, uh, they have action space of, of, by, of, of seven options, okay? And this took for, for, for I will give you some, some numbers, for, uh, col for convergence, it took uh, three weeks using 2,000 GPUs. Okay, so if you have this amount of GPUs, go for it. Very good. So, so we, we let's uh, we, we started from reformulation of the problem. So, k assumption is well-performing layer in one network will also perform well in different network. Our state-space neural network architectures that can be built using the following layer types: convolution pooling, fully connected, global average pooling, and ReLU. Okay, and we terminate, uh, termination states are uh, JP and softmax. Okay, so we have uh, our JP and our and softmax for getting, for uh, achieving the results. Great, so I will skip to results. So uh, experimental setup uh, of this work was uh, the, the models were trained with Adam optimizer, top 10 models were selected and find tuned further, okay, so they first find the best architectures and then they make a, a, another fine tuning. What, what I mean by fine tuning? Guys? No, fine tuning is not basic parameters. Fine tuning is actually, yes, yeah, speaking parameters, but, but what it means, is I will give more epochs for fine con convergence, okay? I will, I'm finding the best architectures and then I, give them time to converge until the, 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 the best convergence, okay? Great. So this work, uh, this work they uh, did experiments on data sets MNIST Cypher 10 and SVHN. As, actually, this is the uh, mid-range architecture and this is the uh, small range architecture, okay? Small, small scale. This is small scale and this Cypher 10 is uh, the mid scale. Uh, okay, so uh, let's see the results. Okay, so the method, this, this work is meta q learning. So as you can see, guys, uh, they achieved better results than uh, previous works. Again, uh, previous works are actually their uh, handcraft works like VGGNet, Fitnet, Nin, uh, uh, I don't know, Mag Magsout, and the other works. So this is, was the first. AutoML or enforcement learning algorithm that showed the way, the, 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 how to, re, how to uh, find architectures using reinforcement learning, and uh, a bit uh, the results of previous state of the art architectures. That obviously was done by hand, by, by hand and without AutoML fine tuning. Okay? Questions? Any questions? Okay, great. So, let's let's talk about the limitation of, of this of these methods. What do you think? What the what the uh, major limitation of this of this of using out uh, reinforcement learning for AutoML? The action, uh, the action space. Yeah. So increasing the action space. The increasing the branching and actually give you a, and. A, uh, exploration. The exploration and actually your model, the uh, chance that your model will converge is uh, small. Yeah, great. Other other uh, assumptions? Yeah. We were saying for uh, bad actions in the first place. Right? Maybe you know convolutions aren't good for this problem. So how can you generalize? Okay. Okay. So okay. So uh, actually, you raise here uh, some problems that are that are not uh, uh, assumed by AutoML work. AutoML is assumed that you can that 
the best you can do is using, uh, con in, is using the basic blocks. Okay? Of course, you have limitation of this method. You have limitation on using convolutional neural networks. If you will ask Hinton, he will tell you that capsule net is actually more suitable for, for most visual recognition problems. Uh, but you have their limitation on the capsule net too, okay? But because they're very heavy complexity. They have a, they're very com 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 complex. But uh, the, uh, of course you have some limitation. Of course you cannot, the, uh, you, ha you, ha you have some limitation that you have some limitation that you, you cannot uh, reach uh, more, pr more than uh, only by these blocks, okay? So, so, so. so you have limitations of the, of the algorithm. Great, but again, the real the if why why these guys didn't show Im ImageNet? Okay, so the answer is hardware limitation. Yes, of course, no, not only hardware limitation. But again, I, they use a lot of GPUs, but the exploration when you're using when you're using uh, such a big mo model uh, like ImageNet, you have. You 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 increase your 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 complexity by uh, by by a rank, okay? What? Yes, they they fixed, of course. They fixed the stochastic optimizations. Great. So reinforcement learning, it's very it's very uh, it's very easy to understand how to make the relaxation for finding the HTML, uh, how to finding the uh, architectures, but. It's not the best if if you have a, a, a big exploration set. Okay, you you should you should think about a more a other methods and what actually the method that, that you that we really want to do how to find how to find your your uh, uh, best architecture is using what what the problem is reinforced. Reinforces the the method. The method of reinforce is actually a greedy method. Okay, so you're you're working, you're you're trying, yeah. But what you want to do is actually using a stochastic gradient descent to find your problem, to 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 optimize. So we want to optimize your alphas, your per, per, your your parameters of 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 neural network by stochastic gradient descent, and and the reason why I now will uh, present you DART. So DART, it's differentiable architectural search. So this was actually the f a really a, a huge progress. This work is a, one of the first work that uh, they present how to use, a op how, to use uh, how to use a stochastic optimization for finding the architecture. Okay? So what, we are, what the, the, the main idea here, we actually define here ourselves Cells is our basic cells is cell is our basic uh, blocks, okay? And we uh, actually have a few. Uh, we define a few options of what we can choose, okay? So which uh, each of uh, each of alphas, okay? Each of passes is which options to choose, okay? Then we will do relaxation on this using softmax, and then we will derive it. And we will find the parameters alpha. The, we will find the best blocks for each cell. Cell is actually your 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 uh, your, your layer your your layer for uh, uh, getting the best accuracy. Okay. So the algorithm works this way. We create mixed operation O with that parameterized by alphas. Ij, the, 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 their index of, 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 their, of their place for each edge. Edge is actually our, again, it's, 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 a, it's layer number of, the number of layer, okay? And while it's not converged, we update our architecture alpha by descending, by doing relaxation, primary relaxation on, on your, on your uh, alphas, on your, uh, on your uh, options, okay? No, no. F first, I'm training by gradient descent. So, what is actually what uh, 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 let, uh, what actually I'm re 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 for for what I'm doing my relaxation for action for which 
Yes, for the cho for the choice, for the action space. Yes. So, I will f use a stochastic gradient descent for finding the best parameters, and then I'm actually I'm I'm learning I'm learning architecture to 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 learn to achieve uh, to achieve results. So it's 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 like it, it iteratively. First time it iterate alphas, then I evaluate my model for for the accuracy. And then I'm, uh, and this is actually step of one. This is one iteration of my learning algorithm. Great. And then when I stop, when I when I, when I stop when I uh, stop with this loop, I derive the final architecture based on their alphas, on my alphas. Yes. And then actually I build uh, the uh, best uh, neural network. Yes. Then I find, then I do our argmax on them. So I actually, I here, I have, uh, I'm I'm choosing the ma the maximum uh, probability, the uh, passes with maximum pro probability, and then I my my final uh, architecture is built from the maximum pro pro probabilities nets. Yeah, first I have some alpha, some some I initialize my alpha. I I uh, I uh, define my exploration se uh, search. So I define a number uh, which what alphas can 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 be. Okay, then I uh, use my de uh, gradient de de descent uh, for uh, I, I I do actually uh, summing of all the options of all the options. Do uh, do softmax. De de uh, de derivate these architectures, find on evaluating what give the best accuracy, and with this update these alphas, and then uh, uh, doing the next iteration. Car yes, B exactly. We, in each in each epoch. I'm finding the uh, I'm doing R max on my alphas probabilities, finding the best alphas, then evaluate my model, update, uh, then I uh, cal calculate the cost function, update the alphas according this evaluation, and then going to the next step. Okay, is it clear, guys? Any questions? Great. So. Okay, so f first I'm going to, to the next algorithm and the, and the final algorithm. Uh, this algorithm, guys, 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 this algorithm dramatically reduce the number of GPUs that you need for making AutoML, dramatically. So from 2,000 GPUs in three weeks, convergence on Cypher 10 can happen in seven hours or eight hours GPU GPU uh, uh, GPU hours, okay. So it actually give the your, it it, it give you the, the the opportunity for a more uh, efficient auto ML uh, uh, architectural search. Great, but guys, but we have some. This work is actually uh, uh, the 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 continue the. The improvement of the original darts, so it's progressive different architecture search uh, algorithm. So what the different the difference between this algorithm and the other and the uh, and the darts is that you uh, on when you train your model when you train your HTML uh, in each epoch or each few epochs you reduce the number of passes. So. Let's define. You have four passes, okay? Then you actually find that probabilities of two of them is very large and two of them is very small. So you remove these passes from your network. You remove it. You reduce your exploration search because now you have less, pa less, less edges, less connectivities, and this way, and then you add more cells. So you you add depths why depths to your layers. First you you starting from one cell depths, okay? Then you remove removing your uh, your connect your connectivities by by removing the smaller uh, smaller alpha spaces, and then you 
uh, uh, adding add your uh, add add more layers, add depths by more layers. Okay, this way you can. Okay, so this way the, uh, you can uh, train uh, and uh, ser search very depths, very deep neural networks, very very deep neural networks uh, by actually uh, uh, and con converge because you have. Uh, uh, less uh, exploration set, uh, uh, less exploration sp space. Okay, so this is for now sort of results. This is it. I will g let's uh, let's uh, see the, the results. So as you, you can see, P dirt, they are achieve uh, better results. And let let's take a look about the times only uh, on a, a zero that three days, GPU days, okay? So they achieve better results for better, best comp uh, for better complexity, okay? Using uh, only, you, 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 using only uh, uh, zero that three uh, days, okay? Less than half. Day for converging on Cypher 10, okay? So again, uh, one, uh, uh, one note, People do not do, uh, do not train AutoML on ImageNet, okay? Because also with this algorithm is very heavy. So what people do, they find the best architecture on Cypher, and then they do transfer learning, okay? They actually only fine tuning this algorithm, this the uh, the, the architectures on ImageNet. People do not train AutoML directly on ImageNet. Any questions? Thank you. <laughs>